The Spanish pavilion was located in the central square of this year's CIIE, and inside the pavilion was a modest exhibit featuring six early 20th century buildings designed by a Spanish architect, Abelardo La Fuente. It's one of the best wonders we have in the city of the neo-Arab style. It was a garage for a Spanish millionaire who was holding the biggest transportation company at the city. This was one of the biggest wonders he did in Shanghai because all the other hotels are nowadays disappeared. Alvaro Leonardo is a Spanish architect who came to Shanghai in 2009 and established the La Fuente Research Project. On November 4th, he guided a city tour of the architectural heritage of Abelardo La Fuente in Shanghai, initiated by the Instituto Cervantes. Abelardo La Fuente was a Spanish architect born in Madrid in 1871. He came to Shanghai in 1913 from Madrid to Shanghai with the Transiberian train and he started to practice uh, by himself between 1913 and 1915. He was the visionary of this Shanghai in 1931. He said he wished to see a city like we have Shanghai today. Abelardo La Fuente was a Spanish architect that had quite an impact on Shanghai in the early 20th century. The small yet dynamic and entrepreneurial Spanish community afforded La Fuente the opportunity to introduce and develop the Moorish style in China. And a half dozen of these characteristic structures still stand in the city today. The buildings are still standing from all his professional career almost during 20 years in Shanghai are the Star Garage building, which is in the 702 of Nanjing Silu. It was a garage for Albert Cohen, a Spanish millionaire, who was holding the biggest transportation company at the city. He was importing American cars to Shanghai and selling them and repairing them at the garages. And La Fuente built for him the Star Garage building, the headquarters, plus another two garages, which are nowadays disappeared. The next person he worked the most during his years here was Antonio Ramos, who was the tycoon of the cinemas in China. He was a Spanish person from Granada who requested him not only two of his cinemas out of seven that he owned in Shanghai, but also his summer mansion in Hong Kong district in 250 Duolulu. This building became one of the three private residences belonging to the influential banker and politician Kong Xiangxi after 1945. We still can see today the Little Alhambra of Shanghai, which is a project from Abelardo La Fuente uh, from 1924. And it's one of the best wonders we have in the city of the neo-Arab style that he introduced in Shanghai from 1915. The ballroom at the Astor House Hotel, which is nowadays the it's a museum, it's one of the best wonders of, of him, having these translucent vaults and the wooden floor which is the main space of the museum nowadays. And even the marble columns, they are the original ones. And this building has his own signature at one of the columns of the ballroom. This was one of the biggest wonders he did in Shanghai because all the other hotels are nowadays disappeared. One of the most important things we have with the figure of Abelardo La Fuente and the buildings that are still standing in Shanghai is he bring a completely new and different style to China. This is actually not anymore a Spanish legacy. It is the heritage of the architectural heritage of Shanghai.